The next step of definition for each iMachining operation is the tool selection. Switch to the tool page of the iMachining Operation dialog box to define a tool. Click the Select button to display the Choosing Tool for Operation dialog box with a Part Tool Table. The Part Tool Table contains all the tools available for use to machine a specific CAM part. The Part Tool Table is stored within the CAM part. The Choosing Tool for Operation dialog box enables you to manage the tools contained in the Part Tool Table. Currently, the Part Tool Table is empty. Define a new tool suitable for iMachining. Click the Add Milling Tool button to start the tool definition. The new pane containing available tools is displayed. For the purpose of this exercise, select End Mill from the Milling Tools list. Under the Topology tab, you can define the physical dimensions of the tool. Set the diameter value to 12.5 mm. Keep the default remaining tool parameters, which provide a cutting length of 24 mm. Change the number of flutes to 6. Switch to the iData tab. The iMachining operations in this exercise will use the default 45 medium value for the helical angle parameter. This parameter affects the cutting conditions and step-down values generated by the technology wizard. You can also add a tool holder to simulate your real-world setup even further. Switch to the Holder tab. There are a series of different holders available under the Global tab. Select the first choice in the list, HSKA63ER 16x80. If the Tool Picture window is not activated, click the Show Tool button. This window provides a 3D representation of the tool and tool holder. Any changes you make to the tool are updated visually in real time and can be viewed on the fly. For example, the Tool Picture window shows the tool extending out of the holder quite a bit. Switch back to the Topology tab and decrease the outside holder length to 40 millimeters. You can see that the tool picture window has been updated. Once satisfied with the tool parameters, click the select button to choose the tool for the operation and exit the part tool table.